Welcome back. You know, while some kids are already back in school, most will start up again right after Labor Day next week. And one of the biggest challenges when it comes to the new school year is getting your little ones back into a normal routine. And here to give us some helpful tips with that transition, we have pediatrician at Beaumont Children's Hospital, Dr. Daniel Schnarr. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Aaron. 30 years in pediatrics. You know, it's over 30 years, but I usually say, well, 30 years. <laughs> you round it. Okay. <laughs> well, tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, just what parents need to start considering when it comes to this transition and going back to school. Well, I think when the air temperature is getting cold, parents are starting to get school supplies. They start certainly thinking about taking their youngster to school for the first time. And especially for younger kids, uh, it is a big deal for them to make this switch from summer to school. And some of the children remember feeling nervous. They don't know what to expect, if it's especially if it's a new school. Mm -hmm. So it's very important uh, to, in these days before school starts, to learn as much as you can about the new child's schedule. Okay. What's it going to be like? Sit down with the youngster, tell them this is what time we're going to have breakfast, this is what time school starts, whether they're going to take a bus, what their teacher's name is, you know, the usual visit the school if you can. Uh, but it's also important, I think, for parents to uh, think about what it was like for them. And I think that comes naturally for most parents. But if a parent is thinking uh, any sort of negative thoughts about them being anxious before they went to school. Or maybe me. there was <laughs> I used to get anxious and not sleep the, night, the first night before back to school. <laughs> so, you know, it's important for parents to realize that their negative feelings or if they remember a teacher that they didn't like, to take a deep breath, let that go, okay. put that behind them, have a positive outlook for their youngster to, to show them. Well, and when it comes to sleep, how much sleep should um, kids in elementary school be getting? Kids in elementary school typically should be getting uh, 11 hours of sleep or so okay. on average. And high school, they say now, uh, eight and a half to nine and a half hours of sleep for a high school That's student. A, yeah, good luck. I'm sure good a lot of people that. aren't. That's good luck for that, <laughs> that, right? And how can you get the kids to go to bed early now that they've gotten into these uh, different habits throughout the summer? Well, I, think, I think of it differently for elementary students and high school students. I think elementary students typically do go to bed a little earlier, so it's a little easier for them to get up for school. Yeah. Usually school starts maybe after 8.30 for them. So I don't think it's as much of an issue myself for the elementary kids. Okay. But the high school kids, I personally think it's a very big deal. Um, well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I know uh, we're running out of time, but our Anne Marie actually got to sit down with you, and she will have more on the transition back to school um, in a story that airs tomorrow, and she'll talk about that tomorrow morning. So, Dr. Daniel Schnarr from Beaumont Pediatrics Children's Hospital, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. We're going to send okay. it over to you now for uh, Cool Clips. All right, Erin, thanks for that. Lots of interesting ways yeah. sleep affects.